Hey guys, it's me, Shrek, 5858 here, alone. Um, I'm gonna, today, 2726 on Jojo, he, he's gonna, he pronounces his name, he knows how. Um, he, he was the first person to ask to get, to be in a video, so he has a voice recording, and it's part one of, I don't know how many, how to make a geometry dash game. And you can see right here, 2726 on Judge. I don't know, again. But make sure to follow him. And let me make sure. And let's go. Hi there, this is 2726 Andrew Jew, and I'm going to be making my first ever tutorial thanks to Destruction5858 for giving me this idea. I think so we're just going to be teaching you how geometry dash, you know, those pair of spikes and pairs. That you have to get above the spikes. That's basically what I'm going to be saying. I'm going to like teach you how to get a character above spikes. So let's get. So here's the code right, that you're going to be making. What you want to do is that you want to have two different glide blocks. So first, what you're going to do if you want you want to make like a space. So when space keep right? And then what you want to do is that you want to put in three blocks, or if you're adding a score block, then you want four. First one is going to be glide 0.2 seconds to negative 178, which is the X, and Y2, okay? Then you're going to add a weight block. After the weight block, you're going to add a glide 0.2 seconds again to x minus 178 but the y is going to change you want to add minus 133 so what's this going to do that the first slide block that's going to bring the sprite up and then you want it to come down again so that's what the second slide block is going to do so here's the code for the sprite what you want to do as if you see the games, then you think the sprite's actually moving, but no, the, the actual background is moving, all right? What you want to do is you want to place a forever block, and in the forever block, you want to add move to negative 10 steps so that it goes to the lower left. Then you want to add an if block, two new if blocks in the thing. And make one if touching the edge, then go to x two fifty and y negative one ten. All right. The coordinates won't be for you. Like get the spike back at its original position so it can go again, right? And you want to put that if in the forever block so that it happens all the time. Then you want to add in the second if block and the if touching cap. If you do that then you can either do either a stop all or you can broadcast something that'll go to another sprite that says game over all right that's all i got for you and you can add a score block at the end if you want but don't forget to um subscribe like and save this video don't forget to follow 2726 Andrew Drew, the Bear, Destruction 5858, QC, and the Zombie Fire on Scratch. And hope you have a good day. Okay, so like he said, um, wait, let me, let me, never mind. So, um, the coordinates that he said, it's going to be different for you wherever you want the cat to start and everything. Right here, I tried to do it during when he was talking. But you're going to need a win flag clicked. He just did that so he could go through and talk, and then it would broadcast go. And when it receives go, it would start. And once again, this X and everything. And um, Now, the Y, it's really going to depend on where your spray is. You want it to add about 80. Is what it, like, I don't really want to do math, but I think it's around 78, the difference between these two Ys. And here, let me, what, one second, let me, let me just get, 
I, I'm just gonna play the game. So this is basically, um, I'm pretty sure, I don't even know. So yeah, this is basically, this is how to make a, and right here, the score he was talking about, when space is pressed, you want a variable, obviously score. And when it comes back down, you want it to change the score by one. Now, some people would do it right when they jump. The reason I do it at the bottom, like once it lands again, is because if you jump, then when they come back down, they might hit the spike. But, and it, it, and it would still give them a point. But if this one, they would land and then it would give them a point. And I'm just going to do a set score to zero. So let's go in and play this. Yeah, see? And one second, I'll take a hit. See, it stops all except... Wait. Stop all. Wait, you know what I'll do also? Because I don't know... I don't know if I messed something up or whatever, but whatever. Message beef. I think that I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what I did, but I I might have messed something up while I was going in and changing the code. So if you just do the stop wall, it should work. And let me just make sure. Hmm. That's really oh. <laughs> Message beef. There we go. Okay, I have no clue what I'm doing wrong. Whatever. So, when space is pressed, you want it to do this. You don't need any of the recording. That was just... Wow, I need to get rid of scratch. Okay, there we go. And then here, I'll just delete... Actually, there's no really, really reason. So, yeah, anyways, this is for the spike. This is for the cat. Wait, one second. I... You don't want this broadcast message of beef. And, and there's nothing in the backdrop. This is just, once again, for the video. And, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to follow 2726 on, on Juju. Um, I, I don't remember how to say it. I'm sorry. Um, destruction underscore 5858. Both a bear. Can of seat. The zombifier. Just like he said. And like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.